Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to run really quickly uh, over the tool settings and parameters. So now if we have a part and we already have set up the drilling and contour or whatever we want to do to the part, there's going to be settings on the left side that are right here called tool settings. And in between every operation, there's going to be parameters. So I'm going to go over these in, uh, very quickly, but I will be explaining those more in depth while we're doing the exercises. So I'm going to go ahead and click on tool settings you're going to see a menu pop up. Now this program number, this is where you choose what program you want. If you're very familiar with NC code, uh, during your NC code it's going to list your program, program number one, program number two, depending like which one it does first, second, third, and if you're familiar with NC you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now for this option for tool settings you want to make sure that the overwrite defaults with modal values are overrided. So make sure this, ch this check is uh, enabled as well as the clearance height, retract height, and feed plane. This way you, you can always override them anytime you want. Um, for that sequence, you want to make sure it starts at 1 and increments by 1. This, you're talking about your program number. So it starts with 1, the next one is 2, next one is 3, and so on and so forth. Now, for the second most important one, the stock setup. And this is where you set up your stop, stock right after you do your sketch. So for example, you do a rectangle, you want to come down here and make your rectangle and then give it a depth and then make sure that that rectangle is over or under wherever you desire your sketch. You want to make sure it's under your sketch just like you see here in the drawing. So if I click on the check mark just to see the drawing, you're going to see the stock right underneath my sketch. So my sketch is up top and then my, my little stock is on the bottom. So I'm going to go back to tool settings and then stock setup. And this, of course, it says shows you the y-axis is 4 inches, x-axis is 4 inches, and it's 1 inch deep. Now, another way to do this is also if you select corners, what you can do is select from one corner of the sketch to the other corner of the sketch and click OK. And it will automatically generate the stock right un underneath uh, your uh, sketch. And then all you have to do to finalize that is the, choose the z-value, which is your depth of the part. So go ahead and click on the check mark to exit out of that. And let's go now to parameters and learn a little bit more on that. Now parameters is a little bit more in depth. You can do a contour, pocket, facing, slot mill. You can also do drilling. It depends on what kind of operations you're doing. There's different kinds of uh, 2D toolpath options. So for tool, if you click on tool, this is one of the most important ones you'll be using. As you can see, there's three tools over here. And what you can do is you can actually filter the library by those tools. So, for example, if you click on the filter button, you're going to see a whole bunch of tools show up. Now, you can choose what kind of tools you want to filter by or just choose one to make it more easy. And then over here under tool diameter, there's an equal, ignore, less than, greater than, or between. This basically has to do with the number that you uh, place over here. So say you were looking for exactly all the three-quarter inch drills. You say equal 0.75 and it's going to show you all the end mills, the flat end mills that are 0.75 which is only going to be one end mill. So if you click on this check mark and then go to select library tool you're going to see only a three and quarter flat end mill up here. So if you select that and select the check mark you basically add it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click on the cancel button. Now we're going to come down here back to holder. Holder is not very important unless you have the exact same holder that um, uh, you want you want to have the exact same holder here that you have in your machine. So you can go ahead and choose any holder that you want. You can go through them all. You can see all the different sizes and shapes. You can actually also change the height, the upper diameter and the lower diameter over here. So I'm going to exit out of that or click apply, cancel or check mark. I'm just going to exit. Well, if I exit out of this, I'm sorry, it's going to exit out of my entire uh, options. So I'm going to stay over here and I'm just going to go down here to cut parameters. So now that we're here in cut parameters, the compensation section, this is where you're telling your, uh, the, where, you know, basically counterclockwise or basically the right or the left side of that line that you chose. So say you chose a line that you want to machine uh, around, you know, this is basically stating, okay, I want to machine on the right side of it or the left side of it. And this is where you choose right or left. As you can see right there. You know, tip comp, you know, this is where you're talking about your tip of your tool. You can either so tip or the center, 
which means it's deeper in the inside in the tool and so on and so forth the, we'll go more through these options a little bit later in this uh, in this chapter as well as in further chapters as well depth cut this you're talking about how cut uh, how deep you want your cut and how long you want your tool to stay in down there now there's lead in and out and this is we're going to be using an open contour in our first exercise so we won't be learning that in the first chapter but later on we will be learning how to use it more uh, precise uh, another important one is multi passes you're telling it how many passes you want it to go through a flat basically uh, or drill how many times you want it to go, drill through um, now we're going to go down to linking parameters and this is a very important one you'll be using this almost on every single uh, 2d toolpath that you choose so if you see this uh, tool come down basically every one of these options tell you exactly what you're trying to do so you want to basically have a clearance of two inches which is above the part two inches uh, you want to make sure to state the depth in there those are the most two important things is to make sure clearance is checked and to make sure the depth is stated correctly and this is the depth from the top surface of your part so remember that especially if you're spot drilling if you uh, basically uh, place the toolpath or a flat and drilled already um, you know let's say like half an inch into the part not a hole but just like a flat and then you chose to uh, place a drill or a spot drill on that surface make sure you go a little bit more than half an inch otherwise that tool is going to come down just to the surface so um, we're done with this I'm gonna go down here to cool it and you can actually choose your coolant so if you're gonna go flood on or off and uh, there we go we're done with this I'm just gonna click on the check mark and we just basically just briefly went over the parameters and tool settings now as we go and do more exercises you're gonna be learning them getting more familiar with them and uh, learning what to you know to do the more uh, uh, detailed parts of them as well to understand them a little bit better but I just wanted to go through them a little bit now so you can have a better understanding that every single toolpath for example contour drill anything that you do it's gonna we're gonna be using those menus so you're gonna get very familiar with them and uh, hopefully you'll learn to master them by the end of this, this tutorial